Hi, welcome back to Swing Surgeon, where we dissect swings. So today we're going to talk about approach and uh, what I kind of teach my hitters how to approach uh, in at bat. So here's the first one, and basically what it is is when you're in an advantage count, we want you to absolutely destroy the ball. So when we're in that case, we're going to divide the uh, strike zone into nine, and you're going to pick either which pitch you want to hit or which pitch you're getting. So say, uh, so say you want an inside fastball, belt high. This would be this area, and you would sit dead red on this. And let's say he's throwing first pitch uh, change-ups down and away. Then you could sit on this pitch only. If we get this pitch, this pitch, this pitch, this pitch, this pitch, this one, or this one, we just don't swing. We let them have it. And the reason for this is because if we sit on this one or this one, and these non-strike counts are 3-1, you will mash it because you're expecting it the whole time. The easiest way to think about it is like when you have a, you're playing MLB The Show and you guess a pitch right and it shows dead red. You're like, oh, I'm about to hit this to the moon. Same thing. You're just trying to guess what he's throwing and then smash it. And you got to believe fully that he's going to throw that pitch. If he didn't, you feel like you missed. So again, if if he throws anything that's not the pitch you want, so say he throws a fastball, so you want a fastball here, and oh oh, he throws a fastball right here. You just let him have it. Who cares? Oh one, you got two more strikes. <laughs> And then when we get into this phase, we jump over to this uh, approach, which is everything besides these ones over here. So basically, your 0-1, 1-1, one, 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 basically any strike count that's on 3-1. Even with two strikes. This is the same thing with two strikes. But there's also another philosophy in two strikes. We want to change it to, depending on how you feel about it, you can go two of these columns or just one. I like one with one strike and then two with two strikes. It's the easiest way to think about it. So say over here we wanted a fastball on the inside. Now it's 0-1. He threw a fastball right here. We took it because we were looking for one right here. All right, so we go back over here and we go, okay, it's 0-1. I want a fastball still inside, but I'm gonna look just on the inner half of the plate. That's the only thing we're looking at, these three. So again, if he throws a changeup right here, we're taking it because we fully believe he's going to throw a fastball right here, and we're going to be ready to smash it. All right, so if we have that, so same thing. Let's say you're looking for what he's going to throw, and you've been watching some at-bats or batting ninth. You're like, okay, after he throws a strike, he usually throws a curveball away. So we'll go, okay, we'll look right here for a righty. We'll look right here for a curve. And we'll just set dead red. So if he throws that fastball in, the one we wanted, that's not our approach. So we're not swinging at that because we're gonna get surprised. So we're sitting dead red on the, uh, the curveball over here. We got that red light, like just like we're gonna be the show. And we're ready to smash it. So two strikes. I like the same thing, personally. So again, even if he throws that inside fastball and you're sitting curveball on the outside, you take it. Good for him. He struck you out. You get it next time. You just change your approach for the next at bat. Because it's just more likely that you'll get a hit if you're expecting a pitch and you hit it hard rather than hitting 10 squibs just because you don't want to strike out because striking out's overrated. It's Strikeout's part of the game. You shouldn't fear it. So with two strikes, if you would like, you can go more of a middle in or middle away approach. So you would take these two columns right here. So basically like you would say, oh, I'm sitting on a fastball right here. And again, if he paints the outside fastball, good for him. Struck you out, get it next time. No problem. All right, so now with two strikes as well, no, ch I hate choking up on the bat. Because one of the things you choke up on the bat and you scoot up, you change the timing. So the whole time you were getting Let's say you were timing it up right when his leg picked up. Oops. Draw a little stick there. 
So every time you were timing, right when his leg picked up, right here. Almost. Right when his leg picked up, you were starting your load every time over here. Now let's say, and you feel like you're on time. Now let's say you do the same thing, but you choked up and you moved up. You've changed the distance to make him closer. And you've also changed your bat. So it's harder to time uh, something for the first time rather than the one you just timed on deck and in the batter's box seeing it live. And you're just giving yourself a worse chance. The only thing you're doing there is giving yourself maybe a possibility of squeaking one through the infield or getting really lucky rather than just sitting on a pitch here with our regular stance, everything the same, and trying to hit it as far as we can. So there's nothing more to it. It's just people got to be afraid of uh, striking out. Stop being afraid of striking out. Um, I think it's more of a coach thing. So if you want that approach, we'll go over it again. Uh, if you're in an advantage count, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, or 3, 1, if you're allowed to hit on 3, 1, your coach says, you either sit on the pitch you want, which we could say is a fastball right here. If that's where you want it, you could want one here, it doesn't matter, or right here, or the pitch you're going to get. So say he's throwing every every guy, uh, you're bad in ninth, every guy, first pitch, he's thrown a fastball high and away. So you could be like, okay, I'll just sit on a fastball high and away. If he throws it here, we're taking it because we're only sitting, guess the pitch, and we'll be the show right here, ready to smash it to right center. Then we get over a strike count. And then if you have one strike, look for a column and a pitch. So like, again, inside fastball. If he throws one on the outside, we take it. Good for him. Two strikes, I like the same thing, but you can also do it like this, where you go two columns and be like, okay, I'm just gonna sit on a curveball way because every time he gets somebody down at two, he throws a curveball away. And we'll just be ready to hit it. And if he throws a fastball in, good for him for mixing it up. All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, if you're looking for lessons, uh, the email's in the description. Uh, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Be back with another one.